Big Cook, Little Cook, welcome to our cafe. Big Cook, Little Cook, want you to come and play. A bit. To the left. Back to the right. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> Excuse me for a minute. I'm just helping someone out. Up a bit. To the left. Along a bit. <laughs> Whoops. Ooh. Ben, you're supposed to be following my helpful directions. Helpful directions? <laughs> oh. Oh. Hello, everyone. Yes, very helpful directions. Whatever I say, you do. Oh. Like, turn around. Oh, turn around. Jump up and down. <laughs> Jump up and down. And say, boo. Boo. Hey, ho. Oh, I like following your directions, Small. Helpful, aren't they? Hey, should we give Ben some helpful directions together? Oh, go on, please. I'll go first. OK. Turn around. What did Small say? Turn around. Jump up and down. What did Small say? Jump up and down. <laughs> and wiggle your little finger. Oh, <laughs> wiggle your little finger. OK, here goes. Turn around, jump up and down, go to the sink, come back to the counter and wiggle your little finger. Oh, 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 uh, uh, jump up and down, <laughs> over to the sink, wiggle the counter, uh, wiggle your little finger, what do I do? <laughs> oh, Small, these directions are making me tired. Oh. OK, Ben, just a few more. Oh. Go to the fridge. Oh. Over to the fridge. Open the door. Open the door. Have a look inside. Have a look inside. And what do you find? Oh, wowee! A lovely fizzy drink of lemonade. Mm. <laughs> I told you my directions were helpful, Ben. Oh, yes, they were. Thank you, Small. And thank you, too. <coughs> Come on, Small, we've got a customer. Better go and see who it is, and I'll just finish off this lemonade. I'm on my way! Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer today, Small? Someone very, very helpful indeed, Ben. I'll give you a clue. She's wearing a very smart uniform, she's got a walkie-talkie, She's got a special notepad to write things down. Can you guess? It's someone very helpful. It's Polly the police officer. Really? Polly the police officer's come to our cafe? Ooh. I bet she's very hungry. Police officers are always working hard, helping people out. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. One day I was walking in the park, and what a busy park it was. Bicycles, people jogging, and dogs rushing about as fast as they could. I hope no one has an accident, I thought. And just then, out walked a little cat. Oh dear! There is going to be an accident, I thought. But just then, everybody stopped. And why do you think that was? Because Polly, the helpful police officer, had a special set of traffic lights. And she made her special set of traffic lights go red. And the little cat walked safely by. Well done, I said to Polly. You made everybody stop. That's what happens when I make my traffic lights go red, said Polly. Shall I make everybody go again? Polly, the police officer, made the traffic lights go yellow. That means the lights are about to change, said Polly. Then Polly made the traffic lights go green. And everybody started rushing about again. Oh, there won't be any more accidents while you're in charge, I said to the police officer. Not while I've got my helpful traffic lights, said Polly. Hmm, I think it's time to make everybody stop again. But something was wrong with the traffic lights. 
Oh, no! said Polly. What am I going to do? I had an idea. I had made three pies. A red tomato chutney pie, a yellow egg pie and a green cucumber pie. I think you might find these useful, I said. Polly held up the red tomato chutney pie and everybody stopped. She held up the yellow egg pie. Everyone got ready. And then she held up the green cucumber pie and everybody started going again. Everybody will be safe now, won't they? I said. Thanks to you, Small, said Polly. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Ho oh, ho! Brilliant story, Small. Way! Thanks, Ben. But we still haven't decided what to cook for Polly, our police officer. She's still waiting out there. Time for some serious thinking. Hmm. Ooh. We... <gasps> I know. Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Oh, yes, here it is. Traffic light toast. Perfect for a police officer. Traffic lights you can eat. Come on, Small. You read out the ingredients. What does it say we need for traffic light toast? OK, let's see. We're going to need butter. OK. Over to the fridge. In we go. Butter. Got that. An egg. One egg. Got the egg, Small. A cucumber. In the fridge as well. Lovely cucumber. Bread. In the cupboard. Yep. Got the bread. And tomato chutney. Oh, great. Tomato chutney. There we go. And pop it down. There. That's everything we need for the recipe. And I've been waiting for a chance to use this tomato chutney. Oh, yes. It's interesting stuff, Ben. It's a bit like tomato ketchup. I wonder what else is in there. Well, why don't you zoom off and find out, little cook, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Woohoo! Go, small, go, small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. I've come to the right place here. Do you know what they are? They're tomatoes that are going to be used to make tomato chutney. Whiz, 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 chop up the tomatoes. Hey, the tomatoes have all been chopped up. Now for the rest of the ingredients. Here come all those chopped up tomatoes. There's lots of different ingredients in chutneys. There's fruits and herbs. And spices too. Then it has to be given a really good stir to mix it all up. Oh, it's hot in there. It's cooking the tomato chutney mixture. Now it's been cooked, the tomato chutney can be put into jars. Each jar has to have a label so that we know what's inside. Wow! That tomato chutney looks really tasty. I'd better get back to the cafe. Bye! <laughs> Way! I'm back! That was amazing! I know everything about tomato chutney! Oh, great! Shall we get going then? Come on then! We're all ready, so take a look and we will show you how to cook! Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies.
carrot cakes and fruity smiles As envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to traffic light toast? You do. There was butter, two teaspoons, an egg, one, a cucumber, three slices, bread, three slices, and tomato chutney, one tablespoon. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now, I've already toasted the three pieces of bread, so just take the last two pieces out and pop them onto a plate. Don't forget to turn on the oven, Ben. Oh, yes. Well done, Small. We just need to turn the oven on to 200 degrees Celsius Gas mark six. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Next, we need to cut holes in each of the pieces of toast. OK, then, Small. I'm going to use this round cutter to make holes in the middle of our toast. So, on it goes. And press down firmly. You may need to give it a little bit of a twist. And out it comes. There we go. Pop that on there. And the next one, same again, press down firm and a little twist and it should come out. Oh, a little bit more. There we go. That's another one. Pop it over there. And the last one, down we go. Bit of a turn and it should pop out. There. Now we're going to use these pieces with the holes cut out. The round pieces of toast, we don't use them for the recipe, so you can eat those if you like. Oh, goody! I like my toast round. And now I'm going to spread butter all around the piece of toast with the hole in. So, a little butter on there. Round we go, all along the edges and the corners. A little bit more there, up that end. Very good. That's looking very good. And that's that one done. Now for the others. Hey, hang on. Where have the other pieces of toast gone? I've already done them, Ben. You're being very helpful today, Small. Oh, thank you. There we are. Two pieces. On they go. Oh, now I just need to grease this baking tray. I've already greased it, Ben. Oh, so you have. You really are being helpful today, Small. Put one of the pieces of toast onto the tray. And what's next, Small? The egg, Ben. Oh, yes. Now, you need to get your grown-up helper to help you to crack the egg into the middle of the toast. Oh, careful. In it goes. There. Pop that back. This is going to be the yellow light. That means get ready. Yes, it does. So all we need to do now is pop it into the oven, which we heated up earlier. Remember? So it's oven gloves on. And another job for your grown-up helper to do. Over we go. Careful. All the way over. And pop it inside. And make sure you keep checking it so that it doesn't burn. Leave it in for five minutes. I'll set the timer. For five minutes. There, five minutes. Oh, yes. Here we are. Perfectly done. Oh, lovely. Let's put it on a plate so we can make it into a traffic light. OK, then. I'm going to use a fish slice for this bit. It's a little bit tricky, so under it goes. And I'm going to put it onto a plate 
with our other two pieces of toast. There we go. Well done, Ben. Thanks, Small. So nearly done now. All we have to do is put the green cucumber in here. In it goes. The last bit there. Pop it round. Can you guess what that's going to be? The green light, which means go! Hey! hey. And finally, the tomato chutney. Lovely and red. Here it is. Scoop it in nicely there. All in. And just tidy it up a little bit. There we are. And can you guess what this is going to be? The red light. Yes, well done. Which means stop. <laughs> so there we have. Green, yellow, and red lights. Woohoo! We'd better pop it through to Polly the police officer. Traffic light toast coming through. In it goes. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes. And look, Small, there's a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Oh, let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, oh, my traffic light toast was very tasty and it was very helpful of you to make it for me. To say thank you, here's a present to help you be helpful. Oh, well, what is it? What is it? Oh, look, Small. It's a hat. That's not just a hat. It's a police hat. Oh, thank you, Polly. If you wear that, then everybody will know that you're very helpful. Ooh, let's see. Oh, yes. <laughs> I feel really helpful now I'm wearing this. Ooh, hey, Small, shall I give you some helpful directions? Oh, yes, please. Come on, let's give Small some helpful directions. OK, Small, turn around. Turn around? Walk over to the bread bin. Walk over to the bread bin. Pick up the straw. Pick up the straw. And go back over to the bowl. Back over to the bowl. And pop it in. And pop it in. Oh, there's lemonade. Thanks, Ben. See you soon. Oh, see you soon.